All right, example three, more of the same. Uh, once again, it's an integral, this time of a cubic function with respect to x from 1 to 3. So again, what the integral establishes for me is what the function is, which is 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. My interval starts at 1, ends at 3. And I'm going to use 20 rectangles. And if I go ahead and do that, uh, my delta x is going to be the length of the interval from 1 to 3 is 2 spaces divided by the number of rectangles 20, that comes out to 0.1. My starting point is the first number in my interval, which is 1, added to 1 half of the interval length. Again, my calculator, my computer can figure that out for me, right? Half of 0.1 is 0.05. I could actually even write it in myself if I want to. It's not too hard to evaluate. I'd probably do it on my own, but again, Excel will figure it out for you too, so don't be too concerned about that. So if I go over here, again, I can type in my x column. I can just type in 1.05, but again, if I do it this way, equals 1 plus half 0.5 times dx.1. And dx is 0.1 and y is equal to, now this is 4x cubed, so it's going to be, you got to do 4 times, and then click on a2, and then caret 3, plus 3 times, click on a2, caret 2, minus 2 times, click on a2, oh, it's not, let me click on a2, I better just type a2 this time, a2, and that's just to the first, right? And then plus one. Hit enter, and it evaluates that for us. And then the last thing I have to get on the top row here is equals the area, so it equals B2 times C2. And just to um, highlight something I said, and uh, again, I'm just, I was stressing it very much because it's very important. You have to hit the times key. If you put 4A2, the computer can get a little touchy about stuff like that. So four times A2, make sure you hit a, a multiplication key, carrots and stuff like that. All right. So that's everything for the first row. And again, all I got to do is figure out the next X. And we do that by evaluating. So equals the previous X plus the delta X value, which is 0.1. That's, again, that's the formula's always this. This formula's always equals whatever that is plus that. That's what it always is. So hit enter, and then I can fill this down, I can fill this down, fill this down, fill this down, and slide over to where my area is, 99.955, which is the approximate value of that interval.